so for the next several portions of our uh, videos we're going to do several different queries and we're going to really stick to this SQL window here so um, one thing I want to point out we're going to write that same um, query that just selects our friends but um, instead we're going to utilize this uh, little fields box over here and all this really is is just a tool to toss in um, field names for you so if we select um, type ID and click this uh, arrow it's going to insert that in there for us and we can say equals one um, I think that's probably more time consuming than than needed I prefer just typing it out let's get rid of this uh, where condition and we're gonna do some more um, queries that uh, do different things with our rows in this case we're gonna select all the um, records from the contacts however we're only gonna return the first name but we're gonna use um, something called an alias this time and what, so what we're gonna do is type in the contact first field and then what we're gonna do is give it a more friendly name and you may not see a use for this yet uh, but uh, there are definitely some uses in it uh, once we get a little deeper into to uh, MySQL so in order to make an alias we hit space AS for alias and we type in the alias name and this time I'm gonna put it in these little quote so what this is gonna do now when we run it is it's going to select only the first name from our contacts and since there's no condition um, or where command it's going to return all of the rows but it's only going to give us our first name but what this alias is going to do is instead of the um, column name or a header or however you want to consider it um, being contact underscore first it's going to now be first name um, and what is important to note here is that this is only for our query um, and the result of our query we are not changing in any way shape or form the actual column name we are only changing what it's called for this query and say go and there you go it changed our um, column name to first name and returned all of our first names alright the next query we're gonna run will uh, further demonstrate the benefit of having relations in your database when we look at the contacts when I when I first talked about having the types and I mentioned that you know you could actually just type in the actual type name here instead of using the ID as a reference you could but where your problem lies with that theory is that say you decide to rename that type so you don't want to call it friends anymore uh, for whatever reason you need to just call it uh, associates um, do you want to come through this entire table and rename that no um, there are quick ways to do that but it's, it's still it's it's taking time to do something you shouldn't have to do it's much easier just to come into your contact types come in here edit friends and change it to associates say go the downside to using the type ID is that we can't simply run a simple select query um, like we've been doing um, we can retrieve certain types however we're not going to retrieve the type name um, with these simple queries we've been doing so that's kind of the downside I mean what good is type 2 to someone using your database as a reference you can't you don't want to expect them to always remember that two is client and one is associates or even what if you do change the name of one of the types and your users don't uh, necessarily know that 
they're going to still consider type 1 to be friends, um, even though now it's called associates. So what we can do is we'll go up to our SQL um, tab here, and we're going to perform what's uh, called a join. And what this allows us to do is utilize the um, relational indexes here um, to retrieve information from another table and spit it out along with um, the current table we're in. And without a visual representation of what I'm talking about, it might be hard to wrap your head around. So let's just go ahead and do it. Um, so what we want to do is we want to select all from contacts. And what we're going to do is, instead of aware, we're going to say join. And we're going to select the uh, um, table we're going to join. So we're going to join contact types. And now we need to set a condition. Um, how are we going to join these this this data? Um, and I'll be honest, uh, when I first started getting into doing databases, uh, the concept of databases made complete sense to me. However, when I started getting into these queries and especially joins, I was very confused on how we were actually going to get data from one table to mix and match inside of another one. Um, maybe this concept would come really easy to you. Uh, I hope it does, but it uh, boggled my mind for a while. So, um, let's go ahead and finish this join. So we need to, like I said, create the condition. And what we're going to say, um, we're going to tell it what um, what field or fields to uh, compare in order to, to figure out the result. So we're going to say on, and we need to pick our first table, or our first uh, field. And um, now that we're referencing two different uh, or separate uh, tables, we need to be a little more specific with uh, our field name. Because if I just type in type ID, um, it doesn't know where that type ID is from and it might automatically just assume we're talking about the contacts and not contact types or vice versa so what we're going to do is direct it to the proper field in the proper table and the way to do that is to type in the table name and then dot which is saying table dot field But basically, uh, it's saying, okay, look in the contacts table and then find uh, the type ID column or field. And uh, I use both those terms um, over and over in these lessons just because um, some people might refer to these uh, two columns as columns and some might refer to them as fields. Um, it's just good to kind of keep a bounce in your head that uh, um, both mean pretty much the same thing. All right, so the way to finish this is we need to compare the contacts type ID to the contact types type ID. Um, and all we need to do is say equals. All right, now this might make sense to you now. Uh, if not, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and run through it really quick here before we run the, the uh, query. Um, so what the goal is, is we want to return um, our contacts table, but toss in the appropriate type, uh, type name in each row, if that makes sense. So anybody who's a friend will now have a column next to it that says friend, or uh, associate, that is. And anybody who has the... Um, um, type ID that matches the um, client's type ID, which is two, it's going to toss in a new column that uh, gives the value of uh, clients. So let's go ahead and run this. 
and there you have it and by default what it's going to do is it's going to toss the joined table uh, columns at the end because of how we did this and I'll get into the different types of joins uh, much later but uh, so what it just did is it sent back all of our columns in the uh, contacts table because we said select all we're using the uh, asterisk and then we joined on the two columns in the contact types um, based on which type each one of these was and what this allows us to do is if we ran this query say in PHP we could then grab the uh, the type name if we wanted to display that on the page along with the uh, the contact um, if we didn't do this we'd have to use PHP to um, run a second query um, each time a record is pulled and uh, that can be kind of taxing and really just redundant uh, if you if you know how to use a join you might as well use a join and like I mentioned uh, I did I had a hard time wrapping my head around the concept of joins um, I understood the result but I couldn't understand how it got that way so for a long time I had to do that redundant method of running queries inside of queries and uh, it's a ridiculous amount of extra um, coding it also makes your your code quite um, intense and and, and uh, messy so all in all it's a good thing to know um, so let's go ahead and we're going to continue with that query and we're going to do some other um, other things to it to the results um, and rather than type out our query again what we can do is we can come over here uh, where it says edit and it's going to allow us to edit that query the only difference is it's going to um, bring up the SQL dialog into another window um, which allows us to run the query and test the results so here you go and here is our query window um, another awesome thing about uh, phpMyAdmin is it's going to remember all the queries we did and uh, attempted to do and you can see as I was testing my joins here I actually screwed up a couple of them window here uh, I guess one thing to note is if you do go to that history you're going to lose the uh, query you had so let's close this and click on edit again and there we go we have our query back in here and what we're going to discuss now is how to sort these results by using the order by command what we do is at the end of our query here after the join stuff we're going to type in order by and it's two two words and we're going to pick the uh, field we want to sort by and since the results seem to be sorted by type ID or type name at this point um, let's pick a different field to sort by and we'll sort by um, first name And then after that, uh, we can we can leave it as is, and it'll sort it the default uh, method. But we can we can tell it uh, how we want to uh, sort the results, um, either ascending or descending. So let's go ahead and type in descending, and that is capital D E S C, whereas ascending is A S C. So descending. Now when we run this query, um, it's going to update our page here and change the results or the uh, well, the results should be the same. They'll just be sorted differently. So we'll say go and there you go. Um, it's ordered in descending order based on the uh, first name uh, alphabetical. So it's going backwards here. So if we change this to ascending and run the query, it'll be alphabetical 